Thursday, January 21st. There is the closing bell, guys, with the S&Ps finishing flat on the day. Stocks have been resting near where we expected them to be on the week. Will we see some selling going into tomorrow? Let's dive right in, break this market down, and then go over the top stocks of the day. We take a look at the night session, and things were climbing higher through the night. We inched an all-time high. However, things got rocky come the open, and for the most part, we're just bouncing around the upper edge of our expected move in the SPX. We're seeing some selling in the final minutes of trade. Will that carry over into tomorrow's tape? When we look at the SPX, guys, we can just see. Today was a quiet day. What do you expect when we hit where the options market expected us to go? Well, only three days so far into the week. It'll be interesting if we rest this level or if we revert back down to the mean. You can see around 37 68 is our midline on the week. That's a sizable drop. However, I don't expect us to go much higher from here. Let's cruise on over and take a look at the NASDAQ. Seeing the NASDAQ up today 0.74%, it was our leading index on the day. With the S&Ps flat, the NASDAQ carried the load today. Now, when we compare this to our big five, we can see that the big five today was up over 1%. So the big five did a lot of lifting today in the NASDAQ, and it was a reason we saw these S&Ps close green. When you have stocks like Apple up over 3.5% and Amazon up over 1%, these are big companies, even Facebook up 2%. Didn't matter that Tesla was down 0.64%. Just taking a look at this chart, guys, we're seeing volume come into this index, and if we break higher, hold on to your hat because these five stocks will drag this market higher. Let's cruise on over and take a look at the Russell 2000. Taking a look at these small caps, we see they're down 0.9%. So we have tech up large, small caps down large, and the S&Ps right down the middle. So our indexes are mixed for the most part. We see some selling today in the small caps. However, for the most part, this is just some nice consolidation. Just expect it to waffle around here. I don't expect it to just go straight on higher. However, when we compare to some of our sectors, we can see today technology led the way up 1.3% with the consumer discretionary and consumer service up today, but that's largely due to Facebook and Amazon. So we're not gonna get a good read from those sectors. However, we have the financials down over 1%. This could be the canary in the coal mine. If these financials want to break down, it's going to cause a lot of disruptance in this marketplace, especially in the small caps. It's gonna tear apart the S&Ps and we're gonna to have to rely on the big five very heavily. What else was down today? Well, XLE is taking it to the chin down over 3%. These are two sectors that are on the verge of a tipping point. Are we going to see some heavy profit taking? If so, this market could be in a temporary cool off phase going into the next few weeks. What other sectors were down? Well, just about every other sector, even the software stocks taking it down about 0.62%. So with our indexes mixed across the board, how did our advanced decline line do? Taking a look at the AD line, we're seeing 30 advancing and 70 on the decline. So we're getting help from some big tech names and consumer discretionary and communication stocks. However, the weight from financials and energy is putting a lot of drag on this marketplace. Tomorrow's session is going to be very vital. Are we going to see the financials and energy bounce back or else? We're going to need to see the big five to have another 1% day if we want to stay flat on the day. So with our stocks mixed, how did the bonds do today? And taking a look at the 30-year bonds, we're seeing they're down about a quarter percent today. We're breaking off that 169 level. However, when we look at it on the day, it's getting a little bit of a bounce, but we sold out hard in this morning session. Now, when we look at the TNX, the TNX is up 1.74%. This is interesting. Are we going to see the bonds break down, which will drive the 10-year yield higher? Right now, sitting at 1.1%, this is going to be something to watch. If we see the TNX break higher, it's going to signal to us that stocks are probably rallying. Other than that, keep your eyes on what these bonds do. If they start breaking down, that means the yield is going to increase. Let's move on over and take a look at our volatility index. And today, we see the VIX futures are down about 0.7%. VIX can't find a bid to save its life. When we look at the VIX, it's falling fast and heading towards that 110 line. You can see this 110 line has played a role of bounce and pivot. So if we break this 110 line and go south, heading towards the 100 level, 
that could signify that stocks are probably rallying. Let's take it closer on the intraday view and we didn't get a bid up like we saw the past two days. We saw the VVIX bidding up in the final minutes. Today, it's kind of quiet and it's just resting, which tells me we could be seeing a bounce tomorrow from financials and energy, maybe money rotating back out of the big five into these other sectors that got hit today. So with the market mix, how did the dollar and our commodities fare? Taking a look at the dollar index, it's down about 0.4% and it's heading back sub 90. So the dollar was on a nice tear the last two weeks, but it's starting to pull back here where it belongs. More money printing should hurt the value of our dollar. And we take a look at some of our commodities. We see today crude oil was down about a half a percent, which is going to hurt our XLE. However, it's just consolidating around this 53 level. How did gold do? Gold up $3, near flat on the day, consolidating here at 1870. Gold is just a resting giant waiting for confirmation of this money printing. We look at silver and silver's a little more speculative, up about a little over 1%. So light volume today, but metals are going to be up for the most part when we see the dollar down. And last but not least, we have Bitcoin and Bitcoin took some volatility today down over 9% at 319 I have some big moves coming tomorrow on my charts, 22nd to 23rd. I'm going to try to get a Bitcoin video out tomorrow with a more in-depth take on where I see it going, but Bitcoin is hanging in there by the dips, guys. I really believe in this technology. I don't think it's going anywhere, and I think there's a lot of institutions that are just dying to get their hands on a cheap coin. There you have it for the stock market breakdown. Now, it was a quiet session for the most part. People going into the safe haven big five names and resting near the upper edge on the SPX on the week. We can't expect this to go much higher. We're hit the ceiling at least for this week. And it's going to be a concern looking at financials and energy into tomorrow's session. Do they get some bids or are they going to have another down day? And if they do, I expect us to peel south off that expected move. Heading towards the bid line on the SPX, it's going to come down to does the big five stay green. But enough of that, let's move on over and take a look at the top stocks of the day. So we head on over, we hit the scan tab and we hit scan and we have a list of five tickers today. Coming in at the number three stock of the day goes to Moderna Inc. Today, Moderna was up over 6% with a market cap of $52.6 billion. On a year to date, Moderna is up 19%. My list swashed around here a little bit, Intel slid in, but we're going with Moderna today, guys. What does Moderna do? Well, they're an American pharmaceutical and biotech company, and they're focusing on a COVID-19 vaccine. Why are they up today? Well, I'm seeing Moderna shares are trading higher after the company dosed the first patient in its phase half study of its COVID-19 vaccine in Japan. So it's seeing a little boost from that. When we look how it traded today, it saw a nice rocket into launch and it kind of just sizzled out here. When we look at it on our expected move, we can see Moderna coming into this week was expecting $8.28. And we're sitting right in the middle of our expected move with the upper edge playing around 138. I can't see us getting much higher than that if momentum wants to continue into tomorrow's session, at least for tomorrow's trade. I don't know how it's going to look going forward. Bigger picture here, it does want to get a ride back higher, possibly test a new all-time high, but it's going to be dependent on these vaccine news and how it's rolled out. But look for 138 to play a very strong resistance if the stock wants to climb higher tomorrow. Coming in at the number two stock of the day goes to Fastly Inc. Today, Fastly was up 6.75% with a market cap of $11.8 billion. On a year to date, Fastly is up 20.8%. So Fastly's charts been in some nice consolidation since July. Now, what does Fastly do? Well, Fastly provides real-time content delivery network services. And why are we seeing some nice volume in it today? Well, it did get a price target raised to $125 by Oppenheimer, and it's upgraded from a perform to an outperform. You can just see on a chart, this is putting in a nice cop pattern, potentially could be breaking out higher to test that 136 level in the coming weeks. When we take a look at it on the trade tap, it is also hard to borrow. So shorts could be getting punished here. Now, when we take a look at Fastly on an expected move, we came into this week expecting 714. So a two standard deviation move is around a 120.50, which we're about a buck 50 above that level. 
It could potentially cool off to that level before going higher. However, with the amount of shorts in this stock, it could potentially keep squeezing higher, possibly for a three standard deviation move, which would be around 110 if this momentum wants to go into tomorrow's session. You can see right around there, a 107.93 would put a nice breakout and maybe squeeze some more shorts, pushing this stock higher. Coming in at the number one stock of the day goes to... Sun Power Corp. Today, Sun Power is up 17% with a market cap of $7.4 billion on a year to date. This stock is up almost 73%. This stock is just roaring. You can just see the beautiful trend since September. What does Sun Power do? Well, they're an American energy company that designs and manufactures crystalline silicone, photovoltaic cells, and solar panels. So, this is a solar play. Why is it seeing some nice volume today? Well, a new green energy policy mandate is on the horizon in Washington. So we're seeing some nice gains in a lot of solar stocks. Just take the TAN ETF, for example. Pull it TAN up really fast. And you can see this ETF is up over 5% today. So this is a solar ETF if you're interested in that. But back to Sun Power. Sun Power is just ripping higher today, and it's a trade that's going to continue this year, in my opinion. With Biden now under the helm, this stock is going to be lifted a lot from his policy. Just seeing how it traded today, just grind higher and consolidated here. We look at it on an expected move. Coming into this week, we are expecting 316. A three sigma move is around 4144. And a four sigma move is 4460, which we came just five cents of that level before getting rejected. My guess is 4460 should play the ceiling at least for this week in Sun Power before marching higher. There you have it for the top stocks of the day. Did you get a chance to watch any of these tickers? If not, what are you looking at going into Friday? I'd love to hear what you guys are trading. Other than that, if you've watched this far, I really appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up means a lot when you guys show some support. And if you're watching me for the first time, I do this every single day. Show some love and hit that subscribe button. It really makes my day when I get a new subscriber. And if you have any questions, comments, feedback, leave it down below and I'll give you a nice reply. I take the time to reply to you guys. So if you have any questions on what I talk about, what I say, leave it down below. Don't be afraid. Other than that, I will see you in Friday's video. Have a great night. Take care. Peace.